Hello guys and welcome back to this video at Lazulon Collectibles and today I have a few um, Atlas Eddie Stobarts I want to open and I've got this Ferrari which I will talk about later um, so let's start with the Eddie Stobarts uh, one is open so I'm gonna start with that one and then I'm going to open the others so I'm sure you're familiar with Eddie Stobart, Eddie Stobart if you are in the UK. If not, um, Eddie Stobart is a um, transport company in the UK and uh, they have these lorries and uh, they also have Corgi um, issues as well and uh, other, other um, toy car makers who issued Eddie Stobart um, lorries, older ones, new ones and uh, normally they have a name, a female name on the lorry this one is a Volvo and it's got Emma Jade um, it looks pretty nice and I think this is a fantastic lorry temperature control distribution um, they are secured on this uh, plastic base with um, two screws, one under the cabin and one under the um, trailer. I think they look, they look really nice, very accurate, accurate. So this is the first one I wanted to show you. I ha don't have a um, restoration video yet because I'm not home, so I try to. Um, just to show you something I have in my collection and uh, hopefully next week I can uh, come up with um, a restoration video so this one is the first one I will put this one on this box here and uh, I'll come so back I, will... I open this one I took the plastic off and this is an AEC ergomatic six wheel tipper so I will open this one And let's see, I actually haven't seen these myself because they were not open. But they, I think they look so nice. They look fantastic. And Kumb, this says uh, Cumbria, if you can see. I tried to make it uh, um, sharper. I think it's not working. Let's see, yes, Cumbria. And I think this one hasn't got a name. Um, I try to see if there is a name on this one. Um, I'm not sure. But I like them. They got a um, nice registration plate as well. And this is a nice tipper. I think the tipper doesn't work. So this is a the stationary model so it's not it doesn't have opening parts but I think they look fantastic and the details are really great on these ones and uh, they are on a plate as well with the name and this has got two screws as well so you can take this off if you want to um, display this one on your on your uh, shelf it's got two stands which is not very nice I think this one hasn't got that uh, it has actually so this is the second one an A AEC ergomatic six wheel tipper so that's the second one I will put this one on this box and I will open the big lorry so I've got this one open this is a Scania T-Series curtain si side uh, carry Jane and H777 so on this model the female name is Carrie Jane uh, let's see how this one opens they are brand brand new so they were never opened so they are in a plastic uh, as well so this is uh, the Scania 
and I think it looks gorgeous. I like these older lorries. They have style. It's fantastic with the details, the uh, wing mirrors and all the decals are fantastic. Eddie Stobart Limited Express Road Hullage Specialist and this is Carrie Jane I believe is on the front. Carrie Jane. It looks gorgeous. It's got um, the registration place S777. I think S was 1997 if I'm correct. I'm not 100% sure. And this one has got a couple of screws, I think three, to hold the lorry on the um, plate. Really nice. I think very nice details. And they look fantastic. So this is the third one. They're quite big uh, compared to my hand. So I'm going to put that one there behind the other one and come in come in this one the fourth one atkinson borderer flatbed so this one i believe doesn't have a female name written on it and this is an older model i mean this is probably from the 60s and this looks fantastic as well you see the details eddie stobart limited so this is k but the k is on the other side so that means that's before 1981 so if you look at um, this one if you are not in the uk maybe this is something new for you if you look at that one it's got s777 esl and this one has the three letters front and then three numbers and then the K. So this one, this means this is after 1981. This is before 1981, if I'm correct. If not, please uh, correct me. But I think that's the case. And I think this looks fantastic. Look at the windscreens. They, they're huge. This is an older lorry. And they look fantastic. I prefer these older ones, to be honest. They have style, they have a, they look more uh, vintage and I think they look fantastic. This one has got two screws, but you can leave it on this plate and you can have the name if you want to display it. So I'm going to put this one here in front of the other two and one left, which is this one. Scania 94D curtain side Isabel F1467. So this one has got a female name. I'll unpack this one as well. I'll come back. Okay, so this is the next one. This is the last of the Eddie Stobarts. And you can see they're brand new. So this is a Scania and this has got R. 467XAD so this is I think 1998 I believe and this looks fantastic and this um, is a curtain side Isabel should be so there should be a name on this lorry says Isabel but I don't see that and it's not written here it's written on the box it's written on the box Isabel, but I don't see the name on the lorry. It should be somewhere on the front, but I don't see it. So, and this one has, this says, I think, French European Union. Express haulage, but I don't see the name, so that might be a mistake on the box. But the lorry looks as fantastic, awesome details. And really nice with these um, logos and everything, so 
it's another nice lorry. I'll put this one here. And the last bit for this video is this Ferrari. And this Ferrari is actually was made or put together by me in 1996. And this was in a box. I just find it now. Yeah, it looks old and as you can see this is this was the beginning of my uh, my uh, model kit uh, days which I don't do anymore but I think this was a Tamiya model and it was really expensive I remember that and I think I haven't sprayed this one in that time so this is just a plastic kit as it come with the box I put the decals on and obviously I painted the frames of the windows and stuff like that and around the um, headlights put this put the decals on but i haven't painted the body itself but i've got the engine i remember it was a very difficult model to put together and it took me i think two three weeks to finish this one but as i said i haven't painted the car itself i've done the details inside but i think if i would do this today i would do a better job definitely well it still looks all right and it's it's a piece of memory from my my younger days of modeling 1996 when i was 20 and uh, I did love doing these, but today I prefer the die cast restorations because these ones are pretty fragile and I don't find that much uh, joy building these rather than the matchbox cars, but it looks good. And I did like doing this, but it's always been an expensive um, hobby, the model kit building. And uh, I find more joy in, in the diecast. Anyway, guys, uh, this is just a quick video to give you something this week because I haven't done any restoration videos. So this is today's mailbox and my uh, old Ferrari. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll try to come up with a um, restoration video next Friday which is may maybe not possible because I will not have enough time to do um, um, another one but I'll try to do something else if I can't do an unboxing video, uh, uh, restoration video. I hope you enjoyed these Eddy store bars and my old Ferrari and I will take a couple of pictures of this Ferrari and I'll put the end of the video. Um, cheers guys if you enjoyed this one please uh, subscribe uh, give a like and also comment cheers guys take care and see you next week bye